Hi, I'm Angela V. Shelton. And we're very best friend, Francis Callier, and we are Frangela. Welcome to another episode of Frangela's Idiot of the Week. We, 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 we find the dumb, you send it to us. Really, yes. and that's true. We actually don't find the dumb anymore. No. You do. Yeah, that's right. You know what? We didn't look up any of this stuff. I mean, and we had so many submissions, so many great submissions. And there are stories that maybe later on in the week we'll talk about that we didn't add, but were great stories and great if submissions. If you don't hear, because we record these sort of in advance sometimes, so if you don't hear yours right now, you're going to hear it eventually. Mm-hmm. And just look, look at this, the army. Look at this, just pages, pages, pages. those army members. Yes. Good job. All right, let's get started on this. Let's our third it. week, the third day of the week here. Mm-hmm. This is from Captain L. Haitiano. Thank you. Navy doctor in trouble for bringing service members' brain home to show his kids. Yeah, Dr. Mark E. Shelley, a Navy medical examiner, was fined last month for taking an unscheduled detour with the brain of a service member while en route to North Carolina Naval Hospital, uh, taking it to to the Virginia, okay? He took the (laughs) jar home. He's 41 years old. He should know I want you to remember that. 41. He got kids. He a daddy. Yeah. He teaching other people right and wrong. Yeah, he brought the brain home to show his children, the even brain. removed the specimen from the jar, let them handle it while his wife took photographs. That's a quote. <laughs> then, um, I guess he took it to wherever it had to be in the record, show the mishandling did not affect the outcome of the examination. I, Because I, the, the brain was being used as a part of an ongoing autopsy, mm-hmm. which is even a little bit worse. Uh, so he was fined like twenty five hundred dollars, yeah. and he remains on active duty, and appropriate, and they're disciplining him in some way. Mm-hmm. This is my problem. There was this uh, HBO made for HBO movie. Um, what was it called? Like bringing somebody home or bringing? And I want to say it's Kevin Bacon, Charlie something. Mm-hmm. I'm, it was about the the people who, co- who bring this this guy yes, who accompanies yes, a soldier's yes, body yes, home. Yes. They send you, somebody you be with respectful of people's remains. I, I feel like they cover that so early. Like maybe yes. not, maybe not in the donut welcoming orient <laughs> moment. You know, maybe it's not in the orientation pack. It's but up. I believe that there is a conversation about not playing show and tell at home. I know there's a conversation about not taking shit out to to your house. That's right. You don't see this and thing. He's, and he's the home. examiner too. You know he knows. This is my problem. His wife taking pictures, she, he's married to, they're all idiots, yeah, and yeah. those children are stupid. Because I'm going to tell you something, if my husband was a medical examiner, you don't get to bring your work home when you're a medical no. examiner, unless it's in files, paper. Yes. But if you were like, Ugh, what's that, that's half a torso, I just got work to do. And you know, it's, it's in formaldehyde. Why are your kids touching that? Why are you letting your kids? And this is the thing. If you want kids to see your brain, there are lots of ways to do That's that right. that are legal. There are these things that we call museums. Yes. The science center. Hell, go go to a, I bet a, you there's, a fetal pig. I know you get your hands on one. <laughs> well, yeah, go to high school. And they're you doing dissecting fetal pigs. Yeah. Something like that. But Virginia, I know they got some kind of a see something. You see something. <laughs> some kind of a I know they got <laughs> some kind of see something. <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me. Because it's stupid. It's stupid. Oh, you're stupid. Don't fuck with my brain. Because this is my problem. I lose shit. You know I do. I can't no. keep track of a parking ticket to save no. my life. I have to yeah. hand them to friends. In fact, I'm so used to it. If I go through in a garage mm-hmm. and you're not here, I do this and, and I end up mm-hmm. dropping it on the passenger seat because I'm just assuming that you're there. So, like, literally, I would be like, what's that brain? Yes. I know. Friends, did you see where I put that brain when no. I came home? What did I tell you about bringing brains home? Gosh darn it. Check the, oh, frig, I'll check the fridge. Next up, this is from Brian K, Private 2 Brian K. This is awesome. Yes. <laughs> nice work, Brian. I love this story. Goatman in Utah <laughs> Mountains, uh, Goatman in Utah Mountains identified as Hunter. Okay. This is going to be really ridiculously hard to see, but this is a mountain. And that white thing that looks remarkably like a man is a man. Yeah. <laughs> Dressed as a goat. This so. is Salt Lake City. Okay. A hiker spotted. He was looking at some goats. Right. As he was hiking. And like wild goats. Wild goats. Right. Roman free. And mm-hmm. he saw this one goat that seemed a little bit odd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, that goat's not acting like the other goats. goats. And he don't look like the other goats, right? So he took a, a he got his little binoculars out. He took a close look. He said, you know, that's a man. Mm-hmm. Dressed as a goat. Trying to get up on the goats. And, um... Basically, his name is 
Oh, well, his name. They don't know his name, I guess. Right. At this so the story gets big, right? And people start talking about it. Start the talking about it. The, goat, the man. goat man. Who's the goat man? And the authorities are kind of looking for him. So they're like, well, what the hell are you doing? Right. Right, right. To right. with goats. So they get a call. The authorities get a call. It's like an anonymous call. Anonymous call. And the call of calls that says, leave the goat man alone. <laughs> He's done nothing wrong. <laughs> Wrong, wrong is an, uh, it's a big concept. Wrong morally, I don't know. Wrong legally, right, perhaps. Right, right. But wrong as in fucking stupid and freaky? Definitely. Yes, yes, yes. definitely. So they, they have the man, the, the person on the phone, and he gives them enough details about the area and situation to make them com- feel confident that it's actually the goat man that they're looking for. And he just says that he's a hunter. He's preparing for the Canadian goat hunt. Right. Now, I need to say, again, I'm not a hunter. I, I didn't know we hunted goats. I didn't either. Because they don't seem like they'd be very hard to catch. Or that they run. That's what I'm like saying. That. Like yes. I've never heard anybody be like, oh, that goat ran <laughs> the hell out of me. I, aren't they like easy to catch? And also, like, what are you gonna make? You're gonna make a, like a goat vindaloo? What are you gonna make out of the goat? I, I don't, I don't know. And they use bow and arrows. So he said this guy was like he was mingling with them, I guess, to see yeah. how close he could get, get or yeah. get to know him better. But I guess it was basically like a painter suit, and then he just put like some kind of jacket on. So he didn't yeah. even really do that good of a job. But the guy who called it in was like, it really freaked him out. He thought maybe when he first saw the guy that he the goat was injured, and it's like it just looked odd. And then when he found out that it, realized it was a man, he said we were the only ones around for miles. He, it was really creepy. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Okay, I got some feelings. Okay. Yeah. First of all, I don't know, and I don't think goats are as docile. Because the first thing place my mind goes is he's trying to have happy times with the goat. <laughs> really, I didn't even think. Oh, that. that's the first oh, place. Okay, I was thinking that's more. That's the first place. I was thinking my more like um, he was trying to glam on that grizzly man kind of thing. Oh, we're no. like, oh, I live with the goats, and I was like, yeah, nobody's gonna find that. No. Grizzly bears. I yeah. still think it's stupid, but it's got some danger. Goats. Yeah. I mean, like they just no. kind of smell bad. No, I don't. That's the first thing I thought. I was like. What I, I, you know what, I'm sorry, maybe I've done idiot too long, but I, I, I immediately thought, some kind of kink. Well, the man is cuddling the side of a hillside dressed as a coat. <laughs> I think it's a goat, rather. I think it's a fair assumption. Secondly, he's a hunter. We all know, if you're dressed like a goat during goat hunting, hunting season, season, that's called a target. Yes. Which is what the authorities said. Yes. Hey, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Might shoot you because you're already the slowest of the goats. Right. Is what I'm hearing. Right. Um, you stupid. Get in a blind like a goddamn normal hunter and put some orange on. What are you doing? I don't believe the. I don't believe I don't he's know a hunter. Story. I don't believe he's a hunter. I don't know if he wants to get freaky, or if he's just. I think there's a kink. Or these are his people. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know the prop. The there's first people who've on. understood him. Yeah. There's something going on here, and it's not hunting. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, I just, yeah. Okay, and yeah, I guess there's laws that require you to wear orange and all that. Yeah. Right. Well, because you know why? They got sick and tired of people being shot. I don't understand. All right, next up, this is from Private Juan V and Private Henry L. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Arthur Walker <laughs> allegedly crashed his truck through Texas Mall naked. This is in Dallas, y'all. Police say a naked man crashed a pickup truck into a Dallas mall. That ain't right. And then drove over a few kiosks. Wait for <laughs> it. Before he does what? Before stopping to try on clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what I love is that so often these idiot stories don't make any sense. No. But this at least <laughs> makes sense. I'm kind of not mad at Naked, 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 naked. I need clothes. I need clothes. And I need clothes in a hurry. I don't have time to park. <laughs> You know, walk into the store, ask the salesperson, where's the men's clothing? No, I haven't got time for that because I'm naked. Yes. I've got to get in and get clothes. And I love that he ran over the kiosks, too. He didn't need that information. It's so Blues <laughs> Brothers to me. But I, I like it. it because usually when you have people, now this thing, they're not talking about this, but we know this is all methied out. Yeah. This is, this I know, is, that's why I thought There's meth. nothing meth. in here. Yeah. I'm going with meth. Yeah. Because meth is where the truly bad decisions come into play. Yeah. Plus the nakedness, it sounds like he discovered it. Yes. Which is when you discover yourself in a situation, right. you're high. Yeah. Because you're, you're supposed to know when you're naked and not. Also, you know, you know, like when you walk out the door of your home or somebody else's home. Yeah. You know you're naked. One, after that whole birth process, people really don't expect you to be naked in public. No, they don't. They don't. <laughs> Especially once you're 35 years old, Arthur Walker. But 
I don't know why they don't do the do the tax screen before you know what I mean before you write the article. Oh my but god! But I would say normally when people do this shit and then they get out and sing a song, You're right? Or like, go for ice cream. Go for ice cream. He got clothes. clothes. He was like, I need clothes. So some part of his brain was making sense. <laughs> he drove. He drove into. Yeah. A champ's sporting goods store. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, that champs. <laughs> I'll get us some sweatpants. That'll be good. I'm gonna get the champs. <laughs> I actually don't know why he's in the idiots. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm Francis Callier. And I'm Angela V. Shelton. We are Frangelo. And thank you for watching another episode of Frangelo's Idiot of the Week. Week, 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 week. Freaky week. <laughs>